Well, guys, Wednesday we broke the internet, so congratulations. I released the my favorite listing hack that I've ever come up with live right here on this YouTube channel Wednesday, and it involved a website that was assumable.io, which basically shows you a list of all the homes for sale that's currently on MLS that have assumable loans attached to it. It also shows you what the down payment needs to be and what the interest rate would be. There's homes on there that you could put, you know, 20, 30% down where you could get a 2.9% mortgage rate, assuming the loan, 3.5, 4.1, 5.25. It's insane. You can literally help your sellers who want to move and find them one of those properties at a lower rate, right? You could also target some of those homes and find people who have smaller homes who want to upgrade, but have had a hard time and say, hey, I can get you in a bigger home and, and I can, I've got one that has a assumable mortgage and I can get you in there for three and a half percent or whatever it is, right? It's, it's absolute gold. You could literally over the next few years make millions of dollars off of the strategy that I taught Wednesday. So when I released this, there were you know hundreds of agents watching this live. And so they all go to assumable.io at the same time. And the website literally crashes, you know? <laughs> and I was like, it's probably just too many of you guys going on the website at once. I had no idea that's what it actually was. So the CEO, not the CEO, the, the co-founder of Assumable.io sent me a, a message on LinkedIn yesterday. And he says, so you're the man that crashed our website yesterday. So that was pretty cool. We went back and forth and, and everything. So now I have a relationship with these guys that, that uh, that started assumable.io and maybe that turns into something, right? This is how the world works. You know, you put energy into, right? You focus on the inputs, right? It's just principles. You know, it's like the law of gravity. What goes up must come down. Okay. If you throw something up, it's going to come down. Same thing here. If you work hard and you're doing good and you're, you're doing the inputs in terms of, Helping people, serving people, doing what you're supposed to do in the market, building your business, building your influence, having the systems in place to stay in touch and nurture these people forever, et cetera, et cetera. Good things are going to happen. So anyway, I've already had agents reaching out to me just after two days who are telling me that they're setting listing appointments already using the strategies that I shared Wednesday. If you missed that live training session, I'll put a link in the description. I'll link it at the end of this video. And so you can go and watch. It was one of the best trainings that I have ever done. Yeah. And the, I mean, the reason I say that's because, you know, I am a man of transformation. I will continue to get better and better and better. And that's why you want to continue following me. You don't want to follow someone who is not learning new things and transforming their self because the whole objective to become better in business and reach the next level is to transform into the next best version of yourself. Once you've plateaued where you are, you've got to transition to new habits so that you can do new things, so you can have new things. And if you're not following someone who is following the same that same path of transforming every time they plateau, then you're going to continue to be stuck. Well, that's not me, and that's not what this is. I read every day. I read every day. I learn new things every day. I implement new strategies every day. I'm executing on things that I'm learning today, not on what I already knew. It's foolish to execute today on things that you already know. You should be learning new things every day and implementing in your business immediately, even if it's the smallest little things. Wednesday, I uh, talked about the, the phrase that I picked up in The Power of One More by Ed Milet, which was, your obsessions eventually become your possessions. And I thought that was amazing. I went into depth with my thoughts on that in the training video Wednesday. But what I wanted to share with you guys today is the workshop that I did yesterday. The workshop I did yesterday, I had five agents come to my office. Uh, two were from Houston. They didn't know each other. One was from Tampa, one was from Montgomery, Alabama, and one was local here. They all paid $2,500 to come and have a workshop in my office, the five of them and, I, and myself. Uh, we, I worked out with them in the morning. I met them for breakfast. Uh, we had lunch at the office. Uh, we were done about 2 o'clock, and then we went for, for a Starbucks coffee afterwards, hung out all day. Then I took them out to dinner uh, later on that afternoon, yesterday. 
So, but I wanted to share with you because this workshop was just as powerful for me as it was for the agents in the room. And it was really cool because with five people, I really get a chance to go around the room and really identify each person, each agent's, you know, inefficiencies, right? And help them through those issues. And what was really interesting was that on some of the agents, what they thought was their bottleneck, what they thought was their problem, what they thought, where they thought they were getting stuck was not actually where they were getting stuck. I'll give you a good example. Um, we went through the, the, basically I like to call it the LLCC. And this is basically your entire real estate business. I'm going to cover all this. I'm going to pull back the curtain and really go deep on this next week in the challenge, the four day challenge, the four days because LLCC. Okay. I'm going to go deep on this. So if you're not part of, if you don't haven't heard about the challenge, it's at setmorelistingappointments.com and registration ends Sunday at midnight. I'm not going to do this for another 60 days. So this is something you'll want to get into now. There's hundreds and hundreds of agents registered now. And so the LLCC is lead gen, lead conversion, customer retention, and then customer ascension, right? And and I, I, I rearranged this for real estate agents, okay? Because a lot of business models use this, but it's not the same for real estate agents because of the process of the deal and everything. But in, in the second one, listing conversion, that has a lot to do with communication and being able to make people feel comfortable with you and becoming liked, right? Property owners, buyers and sellers, people that do business with real estate agents, the number one way they pick their agent, let me be loud and clear, is because simply they like the agent, right? If it was because of sales or, or marketing or your social media or, you know, all the things, your brokerage, if it were, if it had to do with all of that, then there would be no room for any of the new agents, let's say, because all the experienced agents already have all that sales, marketing, brokerage, all that stuff. Okay. Well, obviously it doesn't have to, it doesn't have much to do with any of that and more to do with, do they just even like you? I've seen so many, uh, you know, listings being taken by agents that were so low down and I mean, they've closed like three or four deals going up against agents who are number ones in their market. And I've seen the, the newer agent win those battles, right? Not often because the, and I'll tell you why not often, because the more experienced agent, the one that has all the sales knows how they have the skill of being likable, right? And they've developed that skill at a far higher level than the new agent. Right. That's why the, the number one agents get most of the listings because they understand that whether they think they know it, you know, or if it's a subconscious thing, they're doing it. And if we can take this to a conscious level and understand this is the X factor and work on our people's skills around that, then we can go far further. But my point was, is that this agent thought he was like, I'm having trouble with communication. I want to talk about that. I want to understand. And I said, okay, we can talk about that all day long and I will address your question. But but I have to identify what the real issue is because if our issue, right, the number one KPI of Lee Jin is conversations. And if if you know, if we're not having enough conversations, then the problem is not communication, right? The, the, the problem is lead gen. And if our problem is lead gen, you're not having enough conversations and I help you become a better communicator, but I don't help you become a better lead generator, then we're just putting a bandaid on the problem or not fixing the root of the issue. If I can fix, if I can identify and fix the root of the issue, and then we work on communication and now you've got your lead gen fixed and your conversion and your communication fixed, now we can really scale the business. But if I just say, okay, let's just work on your communication because that's what you tell me. And we do that, but I don't identify the real problem, which is lead gen. I don't identify the real problem, which is lead gen. And we don't ramp that up <laughs> and have enough conversations to actually move the needle and get where we want to go. Then we're still going to be exactly where we are. Okay. So he said, you know what? You're right. My problem is not communication. Although it can improve, it's actually lead gen. So I thought it was interesting. Several of the agents, what they thought their problem was, was not actually their problem because I was curious enough as, as their coach in the room to dig deeper and actually figure out what the actual root of the problem was. Um, 
next week is going to be absolutely amazing. And I went into detail on the LLCC, lead gen, lead conversion, client retention, client ascension. I went into detail on these and these agents paid 2,500 bucks. You get to come next week for either $100 for, for general admission or $200 for VIP and sit through four days and be going into detail on each of these things from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to travel to Gulf Shores to do this. Um, so this is a huge opportunity for you. And uh, I hope you take the opportunity, invest in yourself, and join us on the challenge next week, setmorelistingappointments.com, and let me go into detail on this so that we can identify where your issues are. And if you get VIP, by the way, you get to come an hour early on Zoom and ask me questions. And I, I can actually talk to you about these issues and try to identify where your key issues are so that I can help you fix these issues. You're going to be on Zoom with me all four days versus the general admission is only going to be watching uh, the, the main sessions live on the Facebook group. So I, I'm excited about this. I'm going to teach in a way that I've never taught before. I've got my vibe board. I'm going to be using it like a chalkboard, old school teacher. And uh, I've just, I've been working on this for several, several months to make sure that I'm bringing you the most value because I really, I obsess over helping agents get to a seven figure income. That's what I obsess about, helping you double your income, triple your income, and identifying where your actual pain points are, where what you're actually having trouble with. I obsess over that. And as Ed Milet says, your obsessions eventually become your uh, possessions. And so if I obsess over your problems and the fact that I, I my desire is to help as many agents get to a seven-figure income as possible, that will be my possessions. And it already is. I've already done this. I'm just now scaling it as far as I can. Another thing that I said yesterday in the workshop, and, and this was a line that just came out because one of the agents, their problem was that they spend too much time on one client. They spend too much time on one client. And I said this on the, the training session Wednesday, how, yeah, it's funny because I mentioned it then, then I mentioned it yesterday. Now I'm mentioning it now, how sometimes we're so focused on this one client in front of us and they're so right here in our face that we can't see the 15 million other clients that don't even know us yet that would love to do business with this. So we're trying to convert this person, right? We're trying to, the, the situation yesterday was that he had an off-market $7 million home that's very unique. It's amazing, all this stuff. And that the, the, the seller has told lots of agents about it. He's not going to sign with any one agent. And he wants to know how to convert it into a listing. I was like, why would you, well, you know, like, he's not going to list. And the thing is, is you don't need him to. I said, I said, if you create a scenario where they feel like that you need them and you start trying to convince them, that's when you have completely lost them and you are going to be the last agent on their list, the last agent on their list to pick as their listing agent. I said, here's what you should do. Yeah, talk to him and see if it's a possibility. Of course, go down that road, see where he is. Like, go deeper with why he would sell, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, whether he lists or not, it doesn't matter because you don't need him. Why? Because there's 50 million other clients that would happily sign with no fuss to allow you to be their agent. You can also leverage that off-market listing, call smaller properties or even larger properties. Somebody call the $15 million property, see if somebody wants to downgrade to this unique $7 million home. Call the $3 million properties and see if they want to upgrade to this $7 million unique property that's right on the beach um, and leverage that off-market opportunity to create more relationships in the market. And maybe you sell the house. Always have dual purpose. Two reasons for why you're doing something. I'm calling to see if I could try possibly sell this house. But if not, I want to begin a relationship with you. So we've got two reasons for what we're doing. That way, nothing we ever do is wasted. You see, when you work with dual purpose, nothing you ever do is waste. It's a waste of time. Everything you do is, 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 is productive and moving you in the direction towards a bigger and bigger and bigger business through your influence in the market, through your, uh, through your nurturing process of making sure no one ever forgets who you are. This is real simple stuff. Um, but the quote that I used 
uh, when we were talking about this and, and I said, you know, Hey, you can get blinded. You can't see all these other people. And when I say 15 million prospects, I'm talking about more than you could ever handle that are willing to sign with you with no fuss. And the quote that came out of my mouth was, I said, quality's great, but quantity is key. Quality is great, but quantity is key. Quantity, quantity of people, quantity of clients, volume of people who know who you are. You see, we all want this massive business. We all want this just huge, massive million dollar business. But the problem is, is we're just focusing on one client or two clients or three clients. If you're going to have a massive business, I've said this for years. If you're going to have a massive business, at some point, it has to be about a volume. Yes, quality is great. Give them all the quality in the world that you can. That's awesome. But you're never going to have a large business unless at some point you've got some time set aside to, 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 to hit the masses and become a quantity, a quantity business. You need a massive volume of people to know who you are, not just the few that are in front of you or the 300 you spent time with this year. You need thousands each year to enter into your ecosystem to get to know you, to know who you are, what you do, and that you're here to help. And what I went on to tell this agent is that when you're, when you're faced with this quality quantity issue and you don't want to give up any time that you're spending with your client because you feel like they're not going to get the warm and fuzzies Okay, about you. They're not going to feel like you actually care about them at the level that you hope that they know that you care about them at. Well, here's the thing, and this is what I eventually realized as I built my business to 100 deals a year and beyond, is that the time I'm spending with clients, okay, you know, let's just say the time I'm spending is 100% of the time I'm spending with clients. I could spend 10% of the same amount of time and they still have the same warm and fuzzies, 10%. So if I spend 10% of the same amount of time, they still have that warm, fuzzy feeling that I care about them more than any other agent, then I can actually spread that same time I was spending with that agent across 10 total clients and give 10 of those clients the warm and fuzzies. This is, this is the trap that we find ourselves in, going down the rabbit hole of, of spending way too much time with each client, right? And we're overdoing it. Right. We could have stopped 10 percent in and they still felt like we cared about them. And I'm not saying to cut yourself short or to not spend time with clients or to, you know, even be conscious of the time that you're spending with clients and make sure you only spend 10 percent. I'm not saying that it is a feel game. Right. You have to feel your way through this and, and know when it's time to, 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 to spend time. Now, here's something is like. When I would like, let's just say, spend a whole morning with a client, literally from like eight o'clock till twelve o'clock. When I got when I got freed up and I went and ate lunch, when I get back to the office, I'm like, all right, where's the phone? I'm gonna make a hundred phone calls right now so that I'm still hitting my quantity, right? I need to be hitting quality. I need to be hitting quantity, but don't just do quality. You spend all morning with the client and then you don't you just coast through the rest of the day and just chill. You don't do a social media post to try to hit a massive amount of people. You don't do a call session to hit 10, 15 people. You don't do an email. You don't do a text. You don't do a postcard or, or, or write, a, write a direct mail campaign. You're not doing anything to try to hit the masses. You're just coasting through, you know. Oh, it's been a good day. I showed property this morning and everything's all good. No, it's not. No, it ain't. You've got to continue building your business as fast as possible, which means a large quantity of people need to realize who you are. So remember, quality is great, but quantity, quantity is the key to building a million dollar business, multi-million dollar business, nine figure business, uh, and beyond. So yeah, I mean, it, it, yesterday was amazing. You know, if you're one of the five, you're watching this, you know who you are. Um, thank you for your time yesterday. I got probably, I, I know you guys got so much out of it. I have your testimonials. Um, but I just want you to know how much I got out of it. Um, and uh, it, it was just, it was a really, really incredible day for me. So anyway, looking forward to seeing you guys next week on the challenge. You can register there, setmorelistingappointments.com. And the registration will end Sunday at midnight. And I'll see you guys Monday, VIPs at 1 p.m. Eastern and general admissions at 2 p.m. Eastern in the Facebook group. And by the way, 
the first step of the challenge, even if you're if VIP or general admission, is go to the Facebook group, create an intro video about yourself. That's the first step of the challenge. If you're not doing this to challenge yourself, to go to the next level, then why are you doing the challenge? This isn't a class or a course to just learn information, right? This is, this is designed to make you take action to get better at your craft and, and to, to move closer and closer to mastery of these things that you need to master to become a great listing agent and to be able to serve your clients at the highest level. So when you register for the challenge, go to the Facebook group and make your intro video. Why am I asking you to do that? To get better at video, right? It's something that we need to do, and a lot of people don't want to get on video, and that's okay. There's a lot of little hacks I'm going to show you about videos, like the fact that 95% of my videos take about 10 minutes total to, to record, film, post, the whole nine yards. And you could be doing the same thing. This doesn't have to take up a lot of time. A lot of people want to spend a lot of time scripting and filming and editing. You don't know, right? There, there's that type of content that you spend a lot of time on, but then there's content that you don't spend a lot of time on. And to be honest with you, the ones that you don't spend a lot of time on, they do the best, right? So there's things that I'm going to teach you next week about content, uh, about conversion, about lead gen, about customer ascension, which is very, very important. All right. So get in there. Uh, make your intro video, oh, introduce so yourself hard. to the rest of the uh, agents taking the challenge, and I'll see you guys next week. Have a great Look. weekend. Let's go. I-35 with the top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me.